It's like I left my body, but I could still see everything in the room with my eyes closed. I, I, you can see outside? Yeah. Sometimes I do. Yeah, I, like, like flying. Uh, you did know. you get rid of what you were trying to get rid of? I did. I, uh, yeah. I actually figured out the, the moment the control started. And it was when I was kidnapped when I was three years old. Wow. And I, I saw it all and, and how it progressive, progressively got worse because of my actions and her fear of what I was capable of in a negative way. Yeah. Do you have any guilt? Yet? No. Thank God. It all, I let it, I, I had, hard to explain, it's like a sleeping dragon inside of me. And I felt like it, it, it just blew all its fire out of my mouth. Yeah. Dragon out of your mouth? Yeah. You mean that monster, that dragon is really? I felt like, there, like there's something, there were the, all the shit that was inside me, all the anger and the, the, the bad person I had become, felt like that left my body. You're not a bad person, but... I did bad things, but not okay. a bad person. All right. You know? So you let you I let it go. No guilt anymore, right? No. Okay. That's the most important thing. No guilt. No grudge. This is the longest time in 25 years that a day hasn't gone by that I haven't thought about death and just waiting for it to happen. I since I came here, Life. I look forward. Is just like a soccer game or football. It's challenges. Why is it that, let's say, soccer, the 12 here, 12 on the other side, 24 very intelligent, talented people running after one ball. <laughs> Come on, let's give him a few more balls while you're fighting over one ball. Right? Yeah. The whole idea is challenge. Yeah. It's the life. So there's not enough challenge. So they're okay. They be, be play football, soccer. Challenge. Absolutely. Now I'm you're challenging ready. myself every day since I've been here. Unlocked. Yeah. And you get rid of the addiction to the, the to being an, an addict. Exactly. Addiction of the addiction. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Unlocked. Unlocked. I was, I, that was the only way I could describe it after my first, my first treatment. My brain unlocked and everything that, that had been just stuffed down so deep and so far, it's just all out. Now you got your freedom. Now it's, I feel free. That's... You're free. Now it's, you have your hand, your life in your hand and you're free to do what you want to do. It's your choice. Tell your story, it's so amazing. Uh... So, 15 years old, I started doing heroin. It's been a 25 year journey for me to get here. Uh, been incarcerated, spent six years of my life in institutions, prisons, jails, mental hospitals. <laughs> I, I've been homeless and, and all this time I've just been doing heroin and, and, and craving death. I, I've been surrounded by death my entire life and pain. What other substances? You have fentanyl, right? Yeah, right? yeah, fentanyl as well. Now that I, now and, in, and in New Jersey, things? yeah, and you you get sucked into the into the revolving door in the treatment centers in the United States. You go in addicted to the heroin and fentanyl. You leave addicted to Subutex and Suboxone. I, and and right back in. In the last year, I've been in three detoxes, two mental hospitals. I've been homeless. That's just in one year, and and the rest of my life has been the same chaotic journey. Uh, and until I got here, the the first day I arrived here, I was I was skeptical. I was scared. I I, I had researched ibogaine for eight years, and I I couldn't believe that there could be a solution. To the problem that I had. My pain body was so deep that 
I didn't want it to go away because it was such a part of me. And if there was a solution, it scared me. And because that, of the PTSD that you have, yes. strong PTSD, oh, depression, yeah. trauma, PTSD, everything. I've been beaten by police. I've been, it, 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 seen horrible things in prison. I, that that no one should. But it, all that needed to happen for me to get to the place where I am right now. And when I arrived here a week ago, I was scared, I was dead inside, I had no life in my eyes, I had no life in my soul, and I woke up the next day after my first treatment and physical withdrawal was gone, and it was the first day that I hadn't thought about death in 25 years. Uh, it, it was, a complete change um, spiritually mentally physically my body started to realign in the Trinity uh, that that I needed to to truly be happy and look to my future instead of living in in the pain of my past I, I, I my second treatment I, I wept I, I grieved I, I, I I looked into my soul and relived everything that I needed to see, and and get rid of. yeah, get rid of this. and I, I, I and I'm able to let it go and and move forward. If 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 my journey here can allow me to help one other person know that there is a solution to to opiate addiction or drug addiction in general. Sebastian, methadone, sabiate, anything. This is this is it. This, there's there is nothing. There there's no other explanation for this than than a gift from God. Uh, I I wouldn't trade this for for anything. I have I have the rest of my life ahead of me. And for someone who I've attempted suicide multiple times, and that's the point I was at before I got here. I I was. I was ready to end my life, and the universe allowed me to end up here, and I, I couldn't be more grateful.